All right, so I just want to do a follow-up. Uh, I was having trouble with, I think, mostly bed adhesion. Um, and in the first video, I talked about how these rails were loose. I did find some longer screws. Uh, I took them out in the original screws. I don't know what I did with them, but they were they were just teeny little short things. They weren't touching these rails at all. And so before, when I gently moved this, you could see the rails, you know, moving around. And now they're, you know, pretty secure in there. Um, so that definitely helped. Um, I'd seen a lot of people say to use rubbing alcohol to clean the beds, which this is what I was using. Uh, and it seemed like the more I cleaned it, the more trouble I had. Um, so just for the heck of it, I took the, the plate off and just um, just used some hand dish or some hand soap and just warm water and just sat and just kind of scrubbed the heck out of it um, with just my hand. I didn't use a rag or anything like that because I didn't want to scratch up the surface or, you know, hopefully not damage the surface, I guess. Um, and that really helped a lot. So I don't know if there's something in the soap that's leaving a residue that makes it stick to this better or if it was just all the other garbage that's in the rubbing alcohol because that's only like a 70% uh, concentrate or whatever it said on the bottle. Um, yeah, I don't know if there was other stuff in here that was getting left on the plate. Uh, but between the two of those, putting some screws to help snug that down and then pulling this and washing it once in a while, I've been able to get way better results. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but again, for a couple hundred dollar printer, uh, it, the stuff, it actually will stay on the bed and I'm getting, I'm not having all the issues I was having. So I think a lot of it was just bad bed adhesion. Um, one other thing, and I'll start up a print here, uh, I, even though these are supposed to be auto calibrating or, or auto leveling, um, I think it's slightly out of calibration because I, um, I'll start a print and show you here real quick before I start the print. Once you have it dialed in, um, I always uncheck the calibration and then it doesn't have to redo it every time. And so I'm going to start this print. All right. So I, this is what my prints were looking like. Uh, find something that's got like a large flat base. So the first layer you can see um, how spaced out. So I'm gonna pause this real quick just so you can see when. Um, so even after I would do, so just a normal print, so it auto calibrates or auto levels every time. That's what my first layer was looking like. You see how spaced out everything was? And so what I would do, we're gonna resume here, it's gonna take a minute. Um, what I would do is find something flat that you can print and check this. If you go on like Thingiverse, and I think there's even test ones and stuff, I was just using the base of a, I was making some trophies yesterday. And um, so just the first layer of the base of that. And so once you get printing, I would go in to the settings, adjustments, and hit the Z, negative Z axis. And then watch your print and see what it does. If you see the lines start to close up a little bit. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Try it again. And I'll do it one more time because they're starting to. So I've hit that um, four times now, but again, this was, I'm just simulating like what, that's what my prints used to look like. And I'll pause it here in a second. You can see that it's bringing the print head just a little bit closer. And, uh, you get much, much, much better adhesion with that. So I would find something to do a, um, a sample on before you just start making any adjustments. You see the difference there? That's So that was the problem when I first started. This is what I think that's where all my troubles were is the print head was just a little too far away. And you see that? Look at that. They're already coming loose. And then um, yeah, you can see how nice and close they are. And now they're sticking together um, 
So give that a try. It's made a huge difference, um, at least for me on this printer. So hope somebody has some better success with it. But you don't, uh, like I said, I'd find a test print though to try that out on. Don't just, when the print starts, you have to wait until the print starts before it lets you adjust it. Don't just hit the negative a bunch of times because if you go too close, you're going to start dragging your head on the on your bed and probably ruin it, make it worse. So good luck.